Welcome. It's nice to see you. Welcome back to Mrs. Rodaball's room. We're going to talk about welded sounds today. Welded slash glued. We've called them both. And I'm going to point to the poster and we're going to go over the sounds and I want you to read them with me. And then after that we're going to work on a book called Ringaling that has some of these sounds on them uh, in words. Also in the description of this video you are going to see a link that if you have a Google email, which you, if you are an OES student, you do have an OES Google email, you can uh, access this link if you want to bring up this book yourself and print it off and follow along, which I hope you can do. So let's get started first uh, with our sounds. All right, boys and girls, we have our welded sounds. And today we're going to work on these ones here. So let's start with the first one. A N G Fang Ang. Say them with me. I N G Ring Ing. O N G Song Ong. U N G Lung Ung. All right, nice job. Thanks for following along and saying them with me. Now we're gonna uh, start a book. So I'm gonna bring my camera over here and hopefully this will work well for Mrs. Rodaball. And we will work on this book here together. And it's called Ring A Ling. As you see, it has an I-N-G, just like in our welded sound of ing. So if you have the book, the first page that I want to look at with you is our heart words. Remember heart words are words that we just have to remember. You got to learn them by heart. Some people might call them high frequency words, sight words, uh, and they're just may, may not make sense in how you sound them out, or just words you got to learn by heart. So read the words across the top and I'm going to pause while you read them. So our words are he, do, has, go. And I'm going to uh, let you guys read these sentences. And if you printed off the book, you can go ahead and write your words into the answers. So I'm going to pause. I'm going to let you guys fill it in. You pause the video so that you can do that. Pause right now and fill in your answers. OK, welcome back. Hopefully you paused and you did this yourself. And now let's read them together and see how you did. His jacket, blank, a pocket. His jacket, say it, has. Did you put the word has? A pocket in there. Number two, blank has a ticket in the pocket. What word? He, he, has a ticket in the pocket. Number three, remember you should have paused the video and already done this yourself and now we're checking. Number three, what will he blank with his ticket? What will he do with his ticket? Number four, he will blank to the big top tent. He will go to the big top tent. How'd you do? I'm sure you got them all. Next page. This is where we're practicing some of our uh, sounds that have the ing, so, uh, ing sound in them. And you're going to listen for that ing sound and see which one has it. So our first picture is a king. Does king have ing? Yes, it does. The next one is string. String. Does string have ing. Did you say yes? It does. Sun. Does sun have ing? If you said no, you're correct. This is a picture of a wing. A wing. Does wing have ing? Yes, it does. And the last thing. And we all know that ing, ring, Ing, that's the word we use, so it has ing also. 
Okay, next page. Now, this is our read and repeat. You've all, you first graders, we've done this before. This doesn't look new. And it has lots of words that have ing in them. So follow along on the book you printed or here with me. Or if you just want to bring that book up on a computer and look at it and follow along, that's okay too. I'm going to read them through one time. And then you need to pause the video. And then you are going to read them through two times out loud to a grown-up while you pause this video. So our words are, say them with me, sing, hang, fangs, branch, bat, ring, long, things, nest, if, ding, song, Swing, bell, zap, ling, wings, finch, cat, getting. Challenge word, getting, has an ing ending. Now, the challenge for you right now is I want you to pause this and say these words out loud three times. Pause right now, read the words, come back. Okay, welcome back. Hopefully you paused and you read these three times. We're going to go through and let's find our welded sounds. Let's find any blends or digraphs. And if you have a pencil or anything with you, uh, go grab that now. You can pause if you need to. Come back. We're going to write. We're going to uh, mark up our words. Sing. Our welded sound in sing. We box in welded sounds, right? And then I'm going to go down here to branch because I want to show you what we're doing. B, R, one line under each because it is a blend. C, H is a digraph. Okay? Hit pause and fill out the rest of these words, marking them up, and then come back. All right, welcome back. We have A, N, G, and hang. Hopefully you put a box around A, N, G. Thangs gets a box around A-N-G. Branch, now we weren't practicing this one, but A-N is one of our welded sounds. Bat, I don't see one there. Ring, I-N-G welded. Long, I-N-G welded. Things, I-N-G welded. Plus digraph and a suffix S. Nest, I see a blend, if, ding. Now remember, you're just checking these now. You should have paused and marked them up. Song, swing, welded, and something else. Do you see it? I knew you'd find it. It is a blend. Bell, oh, bonus letter bonus letter. Zap, ling, wings, and a suffix s. Finch, blend, and then, yeah, finch. Cat, and getting. This is a suffix ing at the end. Uh, also here we have a suffix s on fangs. Okay, nice job. We're going to read the bottom. We have little phrases. We will read three times each. I will read it through one time with you, follow along, and then you will stop and you will read it out loud three times to an adult or grown up or brother or sister, or anyone that's around or just to yourself. Ring-a-ling, ring-a-ling like a bell. If the bell rings, what is it? Ding-a-ling. On a branch, it has fangs. Now, this is a good time for you to stop and read those out loud to yourself three times. I'm going to stop the video here. This is going to be part one, okay? This is day one of uh, working on this which should be <clears throat> 
April 13th, Monday, April 13th. So we'll stop here and then come back tomorrow on April 14th and we will pick up where we left off and we will start reading the book on April 14th. So this is part one, Ringling part one. And there is a link in the description that you can bring this PDF up and look at it on a computer or print it off and follow along. If you can print it, that'd be great. And then you can write in it. And we will see you tomorrow. Nice job.